Oh yeah, we're live, we're live. We're back, we're back, finally, finally, finally. <laughs> this is Mike from Mike's Magic Auto Detailing and Paint Enhancement. Here in finally, 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 a sunny day in Sharpsburg, Georgia. I'm not sure how long it will last. <laughs> but you know what, that's okay. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Don't worry about the things you cannot control. Just find a way around them. I just wanted to show you guys right quick, particularly my owner, if he happens to tune in or catch this later on YouTube or something like that. Ah, welcome to all you other internet peoples. I just wanted to show you guys right quick. I have finally, finally, finally finished coating this big beast. Oh man, it looks great. Oh, I love this T9 coating as they call it. Nine year titanium coating. That, folks, it just doesn't get much better than that or cannot get much better than this on this level of detailing. Yeah, it could have gone a couple of more steps and improved it some if I went to my Concours level detailing, it would have improved it some more. But folks, I'm telling you, this ain't bad. This ain't bad at all. I have not put the titanium sealant over this coating yet, but I will. Uh, I'll show it to you here right quick. Uh, later on, probably after a while, this is the what's going to go on top of this titanium coating and this is good stuff you can use it as a standalone product and it is very very good for that and if you don't have the budget to put the coating on and this will last depending upon if your vehicle lives in a garage or if it lives outside eight months or better most likely a lot longer and it can be easily refreshed after each and every wash. You can also use this as a quick detailer if you like, among other things. You dilute it 50-50 with distilled water and it makes a great instant detailer and it also is good after a wash to refresh your sealant. This is really good stuff, folks. I am telling you now. Uh, thank me later <laughs> but as you can see I've got my <laughs> I don't want to go through all the trouble taking those wiper arm blades all that stuff off so I've got them propped up away from the windshield because that's as far as they'll go and I'm getting ready to do the titanium glass coating as you can see I got a little bit of cleanup to do on that glass it's been strip wash clay barred and all that stuff and but it's got smudges on it from where i was resting my hands on it when i was doing all this work here because that's a long reach to the middle of that hood folks i'm here to tell you and i am about six foot and i don't have really long arms but I have fairly long arms and i'm preparing to put this on there also from dpc the titanium, that's what the T stands for, the titanium glass coating. It is designed specifically for glass. Now you can put, so they say, the regular, to be careful, that's so slippery, it might will slide off. Um, you can put your regular ceramic coatings and stuff like that on there but they're very difficult to work with on glass because that's not what they are engineered for. This will last a couple of years. So, and I've got, what I'm gonna clean, prep the glass with, is just your regular old rubbing alcohol from the drugstore. I think I got this from Sam's Club because you can buy it like in four packs. And guess what? regular old spray nozzle just goes right on the top of the bottle you don't even have to use a separate spray bottle and you can use them you know when this is empty you can repurpose it to put other stuff in 
but uh, <laughs> uh, I'll have to do two coats. It's recommended you do two coats on the windshield because it gets hammered and beat so much from, you know, driving down the road, you get all those impacts on the glass and all that high speed impacts, depending on how fast you drive. Plus you got the action of the wiper blades going across it. So what I have to do is make sure it's all clean, which I'm about to do. <laughs> you have to apply a coat very thick. You want it thick on there. And you wait five minutes, then you take a microfiber cloth and you wipe the residue off. You want to see the residue on there after you apply it. Don't go, this is one of those things where you do not go thin. You want to go thick with it. After five minutes, you remove the residue with a clean towel. Then you wait 20 minutes and then you can apply the second coat, which does not have to be as thick. And then, same thing, you wait your five minutes, remove the residue, and you have to wait four hours before it can get wet, and you don't wanna wash it for four days. <laughs> so it, got, it gets a chance to fully cure. Now, the rest of the glass, you, can only, you only need to do one coat. But since this is a bonus, um, I'm gonna do his windshield, but I'm not sure if I'll do the rest of the glass, which I may do that depending upon time constraints, simply because that's one of those products, once you crack it open and use it like today, it's not gonna last in storage for very long, even though I put it, wrap it in plastic and I stick it in the refrigerator. It, it won't last, I don't know, probably two or three weeks or better. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> so it's called, when you crack open the bottle, you use it. And it's kind of pricey. I forget how much it is, but it beats having, if you use like Rain-X or one of those retail level products, which are fine products, don't get me wrong. It's just the effectiveness and longevity of them is very short lived and you you know, you work yourself to death after you put it on one time. And sometimes some of those products have a tendency, tendency to want to smear a little bit after they've been on there for a short period of time, days, a week. And, you know, they've gotten contaminated. This stuff does not. Not if you apply it correctly. But anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick catch up, particularly my customer here. Oh man, I, I cannot believe this hood. Man, man. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I do have to do the roof yet, but as you can see, it's so tight up there, there's no room to work. So I gotta wait till I can back it out probably later this evening when the shadows fall correctly out there so that I'm not trying to put this stuff on in direct sunlight. I, there's detailers all over the country and the world that do it in the sun. I don't know how they do it. It flashes so quick when you do that. It's basically put it on and rub it off. So you have to go small section by small section by small section. So I'll wait until the shadows fall just right and I'll do the roof this evening. Won't take long. Won't take long at all. And I still want to spiff up some of this chrome and stuff. I want to spiff up the wheels a little bit more. I got to coat the tires, which won't take long. Something hit the floor over here. Something slid off. <laughs> uh, my alcohol slid right off of the hood. It just slid right off <laughs> and landed in the floor. That's what that noise was. Anyway, folks, I do appreciate you guys for tuning in, those of you that did today and may in fact do that later. Uh, I'm hoping to finish this thing either today or early tomorrow. One of my daughters is coming in sometime tomorrow for a visit with her two young'uns. So, <laughs> hopefully I'll have this thing finished by then, but I appreciate everybody. You know, if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and keep up with all my different projects. I, I've got some pretty neat ones coming up and 
Matter of fact, a guy contacted me, I think it was yesterday. He has a 1967 Cadillac. It's kind of like a midnight blue original paint that he supposedly wants me to make it look as much like new as possible. That would be an interesting project. I'm not a Cadillac guy, but some of these Cadillacs, I have to admire them. And it'll, it'll be a fun project. It's old single stage paint, so that's a completely different procedure, different time frame, everything, depending on how deep and how far he wants me to go with it. Uh, we may end up putting a coating on that. I do not know yet. Uh, I have put coatings on the old single stage paint, enamel, lacquer, whatever, whatever's on there. I'm not sure what Cadillac used back in them days. But it'll be a fun, interesting project. So hit that subscribe button and keep up with these projects, folks. You'll be notified when they come along. Like, tag, share, follow. Thumbs up, thumbs down, if you please. And comment for me. I'm, one of the most interesting comments I like to get is where people are watching from, particularly the people I don't really know except from Facebook. I find that very, very interesting. And if you have a question, you don't want to ask it in public in the comments section, you know, shoot me a PM. If I don't know the answer, I can get the answer for you. <laughs> I have contact with a whole slew of top-notch experts. And trust me, I go to their expertise all the time. All the time. I'm constantly running back and forth to my laptop when I'm working on these vehicles just to double check and make sure I'm using the right product and equipment and the correct procedures just to make sure I'm getting it absolutely correct because it's a lot of stuff to remember trust me <laughs> and what made this one kind of difficult is there's portions of this vehicle that have been repainted so the OEM paint had to be done differently than the repaint sections did. Kind of a pain, but hey, you know what? It's all part of it. They don't call it detailing for nothing. But thank y'all very much. I appreciate you. And now I'm getting to work on the glass. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.